Yo, 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 what's going on? It's Terrell, Hall of Fame, D-Line. And this is definitely Bully Rants. Uh, man, another day, another damn day. <laughs> and I told y'all I was going to jump on more, so I'm just jumping on this damn thing wherever I can find time at. I'll tell you the truth. You know, today was like another very disappointing day as far as... Uh, seeing where our community is at you know i baited a lot of people i kept putting up things to talk about um you know the perfect dog and this that and the other and you did you had like a million people there's no such thing as a perfect dog i'm gonna tell y'all the truth it's plenty of great examples throughout the world of dogs that meet their standard in every single way this is dog showing 101 Sometimes you get to a point where you have a dog that fits the the, the, uh, the standards. You know, you have several dogs that fit the standards so good that now we're going down to, you know, who is, like, exceptional inside of fitting in that standard. But, you know, that's a perfect fit for the standard, man. These people with this excuse that there's no perfect dog, there's no perfect dog. Yeah, okay. You talk about no perfect dog, but at the same time, let's just be honest. The people who are saying this, their dogs have many big time issues, you know, and it's often used as an excuse to make a less than uh, acceptable dog. I'll say this. If we as a community can't come together and strive to be at a, such a level that we are creating the best dogs in the world and we are creating a dog that can quite simply fit inside of a standard, then what, what are we doing here, people? You know, you can't make a dog that, you know, that has straight feet, the top line, and all the different assets that are inside this standard. That's basic stuff, you know? It is, you know, I mean, come on, man. At some point in time, we have to get to a point to where we are elevating what we do and not just sitting here making excuses about what we do. You know, it's always gonna be some smart asses that try to prove me wrong. And the thing about it is, is you can't prove me wrong because my message is gonna remain the same breed and make better dogs there are breeders who have met what their standard was supposed to be on many different occasions and sometimes multiple occasions you know with the same breeder you know having success so it can be done as a community we have to stop accepting a lower grade dog i'm telling y'all this we have gotten uh hoodwinked and bamboozled into thinking that if a dog costs a lot it's a great dog our education level on what our dog's supposed to be is at an all-time low and right now, if we don't get our act together, our dogs are going to continue to suffer and things are not going to get better. You know, we have to elevate our minds to believe the fact that, yes, we can create dogs that fit perfectly inside of our standard. And we can we can roll with that, you know, but the constant excuses for dogs that have no business being in a show ring half of the time and the constant excuse to continue to do the wrong thing is the reason that our breed is in the condition that it's in right now. People don't have show ethics. They have ethics to try to prove themselves to being right. And it only thing that suffers is the breed, y'all. You know, with that being said, man, breed healthy dogs. It's the same movement. We're not giving up on this movement. A lot of people is catching on. You know, we've been invited to several different countries, you know, for the end of this year and upcoming in the next year already. It's going to be a magnificent thing, man. I look forward to meeting y'all there. But y'all roll with me on this, man. Preach it. You know, put it out there, healthy, athletic, American bullies. Yes, we want all the muscle, we want the size, we want the attitude, we want all of that. But let's let our dogs live 10 to 12 years and not cost the owner a million dollars in vet bills to do it. That's the most important thing for any breeder in any breed, at least it should be. Until next time, I catch up with y'all. I thank y'all for my shoddy camera work. Well, putting up with my shoddy camera work. <laughs> I'll let y'all next time. Peace.